Hey everyone, Andri Gatz here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we will learn how to farm reputation with Glimmerung Racer to obtain this awesome looking mount called Big Slick in the city. It's a vibrant pig snail mount and I'm sure that you cannot wait to get your hands on it, so without further ado, let's jump right in. In Zara Lake Cavern, in addition with the Lone Niffen faction, there is also an optional reputation to grind and it's called Glimmerung Racer. In this faction you will befriend Brigul, a Drogbar NPC who really loves snails, and you will show her how good of a snail racer you are. There is 5 ranks to grind and each needs 700 reputation to go to the next rank, for a total of 2800 reputation. Upon reaching the 5th rank, which is the professional rank, you will be rewarded with a big slick in the city mount from completing the quest Snail Did. Let's see how you can start farming reputation with them. First things first, you need to head to Glimmerok at the south part of Zaralek Cavern. Here you will need to complete the questline offered by Brock the Beast. Once completed, a quest will appear nearby from Brigul, which is called Come Snail Away. In this quest you will be introduced to Sleek and given a whistle to summon him whenever you want. By completing this quest you will basically unlock the Glimmerung Racer faction and you can start earning a reputation with them. There are two main ways to earn reputation with them. The first one is by completing dailies offered by Brigul. Upon completing a daily quest you will get 100 reputation in return. The quests are straightforward, not very complicated at all and should take about 5 to 10 minutes to finish them. I will say the most difficult part is to actually remember to complete them every day. That is gonna get you to maximum reputation within no time at all. But you know, missing a day or two is not the end of the world. It's just gonna take you a bit longer to reach the last rank, that's it. The second way now to earn reputation with them is by showing Brigul max level snail pets. Upon summoning a 25 level snail pet, you will see a quest offered by Brigul. You just click on it and select the dialogue to show her the pet. She will reward you with 100 reputation in return. There are 15 snail pets that can be shown to Brigul and you can show her each pet once for a total of 1500 reputation. Don't forget that every reputation buff counts, so make sure you pick up Darkmoon Fair whenever it's up. If you save all the snails for example and show her with the Darkmoon Fair buff, you will get another 10 reputation for each turning. And that means 150 free reputation, so make sure you do that, if the Darkmoon Fair is up. To make it easier for you, I have divided the pet battles into two sections. One is the tradable pets, which means you can buy them just from the auction house if you don't want to bother finding them. In addition to that, if you have a friend who owns the snails, they can send them over to you so that you can show the snails to Brigul. Once you complete the quest, you can safely return back the snail to the rightful owner, that is your friend, and no harm, no foul. For the non-tradable pets now, you don't have a choice. You have to get out there and capture them yourself. Don't forget that you have to level them to level 25 to be able to complete the quest. You can level them by doing pet battles or you can buy ultimate battle training stones from pet vendors if you do have uh, any spare pet charms. This will instantly take them to maximum level, so it's just so much faster. But if you do enjoy pet battles, well, by all means you can do that. Most of the pets can be found out in the wild, but uh, some of them do require a bit more effort from your part. So let's take a look at the harder ones to get, starting with Zoom. You can only get Zoom by completing a secret achievement from Legion called, well, Zoom. <laughs> In this achievement you need to make sure that Zoom, a tiny little snail, wins the race. In order to win you have to help a bit by, well, cheating. You need to stand in front of the other biggest snails to slow them down. The snail racing area is inside a cave in the high mountain of the Broken Isles. As I said earlier, in order for it to work you have to stand still in front of the snails to slow them down. You'll basically see a cloud appearing in front of them, that means it's working. If you keep running in front of them, it will not work, and I can't stress this enough, stand still, just slightly in front of them. Couple of additional tips here, you can try walking instead of running, it makes it easier to keep up with their pace. Also, if you do have any toys to make your character larger, you will make your life much much easier, because your character will take up more space, so you can slow them down easier. 
especially in uh, the cases of tiny races like blood elves. For example, I used Gammon's toy and it helped a lot, although in the end I managed to do it without it. In addition to that, you can also summon some pets called Fragment of Desire or Suffering to fear the snails, but make sure that Zoom is out of the range, cause he will get fear too and you don't want that, do you? So what I did is I summoned the fragment when Zoom was still far behind, so the other snails got feared only and Zoom got the lead. Once you get the achievement you will receive Zoom. The next pet is not hard per se, but it might be a bit difficult to locate if you haven't played in BFA. It's called Black Cast Crawler and to find it you need to go into the internal palace raid. You need to drown yourself in this pool at the northern part of Najadar and it will get you to the raid entrance. Kill the first boss and proceed towards the second boss. You should be able to find the snail down from this platform, capture it and that's pretty much it. Another pet which is uh, very hard to obtain, well actually it's unobtainable during this time, is called Scooter the Snail. This snail is only obtainable during Children's Week event, which was, well, last week. So yeah, you cannot get it now. Unless you buy it from the auction house or a friend can lend it to you. The final three snails that I want to talk about are the Archetype of Vigilance, Microlysid and Shelly. These all come from the protoform synthesis, a system which was introduced back in Shadowlands at Zereth Mortis. This will require a bit of time to get, but I'll explain it all, so you can follow my steps or you can just buy them straight from the auction house. First of all, you need to unlock the protoform synthesis if you haven't already. To do that, you need to complete the first three chapters of the main campaign in Zereth Mortis. Next, you need to research the Cypher Console Dialect Understanding. Once fully completed, Bokobok will offer the quest protoform synthesis, just simply escort him there and you will unlock the system. So the way this system works is you need to find schematics for your pets and then find three different kinds of reagents depending on the pet you want to craft. They all just pretty much follow the same formula, you will need a lattice, a glimmer component and a few hundreds of genesis modes. In our case, you will need three halicid lattices, these come from snail mobs in Zereth Mortis. A very good place to farm them is right here by the lake, you just need to kill every single snail you find. You can also find it from the auction house, but it might be expensive now due to high demand. I recommend farming them yourself, it's not that hard and it's actually super easy now. Genesis Modes is another key component and these drop from many different creatures in Zereth Mortis. A nice place to farm them is near the Void Portals, just kill all the mobs you find. Unfortunately, they come in very small quantities, uh, so it's gonna take a while. Now, to find the snail schematics and the glimmer component for each one, we have to take them one by one. Starting off with Microlysid, to find its schematic, you need to come to this location. It's hidden in the foliage of a floating tree above a half submerged orb. Glimmer of Satisfaction can only appear in your bags after gaining the well fed buff in Zerth Mortis. It's confirmed from eating the Feast of Glutinous Edonis or empty kettle of stone soup. There is no point spamming the feast more than once, it will only count the first well fed buff you get. And then there is a hidden cooldown of 15 minutes until until you can try again. The second snail is called Shelly and to find its schematic you will need to come inside the lexical grotto. The schematic is located at the second bookshelf from the left at the top hexagon shelf. If you have some kind of teleporter you can teleport there or you can just simply buy the gloves from the quartermaster Vilo at Haven. These gloves have the dimensional translator feature which you can use to teleport up there. It's actually fairly easy to do it like that. To craft Shelly you will need a glimmer of serenity, a small glowing purple pyramid found on top of pillars and floating orbs throughout Zereth Mortis. The final snail from protoform synthesis is called Archetype of Vigilance. You don't need to find any schematic for this one. You will learn the recipe upon unlocking the synthesis system. Glimmer of Vigilance, which is one of the main reagents for this, can drop from overgrown protector mobs like the overgrown bulwark or overgrown drifter found in Catalyst Gardens. Once you get all your reagents, you can go up to the Synthesis Forge and craft them. Don't forget that to be able to show the snail to Briggle, it must be level 
level 25 or else Briggle won't care. And that's pretty much it guys, that's how you can earn reputation with Glimmer on Gracer. You just need to keep doing the dailies and show Briggle any snail pets that you might have. You don't need to hunt the hardest snails to obtain, you can just find the easy ones and continue doing dailies until you reach professional rank. Upon reaching professional rank, which is the rank 5, you will obtain this glorious pink snail mount, which I think it's pretty cool. As always, thank you so much for watching my content and make sure to drop a like if you have found this video helpful. If you want to support my channel, please take a moment to subscribe and hit the notification bell. You can also find me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash games, where I'm mostly streaming World of Warcraft. Good luck with whatever you're doing and I will see you all on the next one. Bye!